Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a video showing off the very latest uh, updates from the A32NX fly-by-wire project. Uh, if you're new to the channel make sure you click that subscribe button and uh, if you've particularly found it helpful then uh, please click on the like button down below as well. We're going to have a little look at Simbrief integration into the A320neo today. Um, it's in testing at the moment and uh, by the time you guys likely see this it will be uh, live as well and uh, a little sneak preview of uh, my livery that's been created by Tommy HBK which will be released at some point soon. So let's head into the flight deck and have a little look at our MCDU. Uh, everything's aligning, IRS and all that sort of stuff is uh, ready to go and uh, before we go any further we need to uh, take a little look at Simbrief. So I'm on the uh, new flight plan page uh, to generate this new online flight plan and uh, you need to insert as much data as you possibly can for this really um, so get your airline flight numbers input departure airport, uh, today we're at Manchester uh, the Maco Simulations Manchester Airport scenery and uh, we're going to do a flight to Hamburg in Germany, northern Germany and we've got our departure time there roughly of 10.50 off blocks we've got our aircraft type in and uh, cruise profile of 25 set and uh, ATC call sign as well, we can just put in uh, easy 594 for now, whatever your call sign will be on the day. And then we've gone ahead and got a preliminary flight plan route sorted as well via generation. So we look at the departure runway and the arrival runways and uh, we plan for those. So we're looking at departing on 23 right and arriving on runway 15. And I've left altitude and passengers on auto as well. Uh, and this is the route that it's generated for us. Uh, Sonics 1 Romeo departure to Sonics and uh, and then onwards from there with a load of airways up to the Ribso 1 Delta arrival at Hamburg. So how do we go ahead and get this into the aircraft now? Uh, you need to know your uh, username on Simbrief. So let's head back into the flight deck and have a little look. Uh, we'll clear that GPS primary and uh, we need to go to options first and we now have an option there called Simbrief. We click into it and uh, you need to add our username and uh, of course mine is uh, British Avgeek so in it goes and we insert that username there. On Simbrief uh, you obviously want to make sure you committed that flight plan and it'll overwrite any existing plans that you have in place. And we let that load. And there we go. So now we've got an online flight plan set uh, with our route and the map and things. So we go ahead, we commit our username to the uh, MCDU menu options tab via the Simbrief button and we can click return. And we need now need to go to MCDU menu ATSU, AOC menu, and we need to click onto the init page at the top left, and uh, we can then request that data. So we go ahead and press that button there, and there we go. We've pulled that in from Simbrief, as you can see, Manchester to Hamburg. Estimated time on route 1 hour 13. There is a second page, as we can see on the very top right of the MCDU. It says 1 slash 2, so we go ahead and we just press one of the left and right arrows to get across. And we can see there a block time of uh, 1 uh, hour 41 minutes. And uh, this will probably update as we go, so on blocks, in blocks, flight time, landing pilot, things like that. What's interesting as well is uh, on the, in the review page within the uh, initial Simbrief feed, on that page two, um, we can see our uh, doors close estimation time there. So we know that we uh, are looking to come off blocks at 10.14 and uh, doors need to close at 10.02. So there's a uh, nice little detail has been put into this. Performance, uh, weight and balance. We've got that block fuel of 5627, which has been pulled from Simbrief. And uh, we can actually go ahead and just click refuel load and that's now updated our fuel. If we look at our weight and balance tab 
it's now going to change the fuel depending on what's uh, mentioned on Simbrief. We go across to this page here. We've got no packs, 156, number of passengers, payload of 16, zero fuel weight 57.3, zero fuel weight center of gravity uh, 30.0, and we can load our payload. And our center of gravity on the right hand side has dropped down. So we need to make sure that center of gravity is still within the limits. Um, if it's not, it will show up in red at the top there. And we might need to amend it. If we go to the init A page, now we've loaded in that preliminary data from Simbrief via the AOC menu. We can go ahead and just press initiate request. And it's in progress. As you can see there it's generated our flight number, our diversion to Finkerwerden, Manchester to Hamburg, and uh, we've got there the flight cruise of uh, flight level 370 and a cost index that we selected of 25 has also gone in. We can clear that message of uh, the import. So we can go to the f um, flight plan page and we can see here that it's got the Sonex departure input um, but you need to actually go ahead and check your data because uh, what it will require is for you to amend the departure details still. So two free rights. Sonics one Romeo. And there we go, we can see it's built uh, our departure. And uh, same for arrival as well. So we've got that Ribso arrival and we can just go ahead as we get closer or before departure we can go ahead and just uh, amend that if we need to. One thing that you might need to do is just uh, have a tinker with uh, the settings uh, yourself and have a look at your zero fuel weights and your zero fuel weight centre of gravity uh, and record those on a piece of paper because you will need to put them into your init B page. Uh, so zero fuel 57.3 and 30. Note that it still doesn't amend any of your uh, takeoff performance page or anything like that so you still need to use some sort of performance calculator for your flex to temp and uh, work out what uh, flap setting you require for the length of the runway and your weight uh, that you've got and then you need, still need to cycle your v-speeds uh, as well as as we did before uh, for destination uh, it's just input Hamburg and because of that we haven't selected a runway there's no ILS frequency or anything like that input there in the radnav page uh, so if we're planning for a specific arrival, ILS 15 for example, we could go ahead and put that in and we know it's that Ribs 1 Delta arrival via Delta Hotel 57 um, which is in the flight plan so we can then go ahead and just insert that and as before um, if it was a default scenery we would have the ILS frequency in place there um, but we're actually looking at some other scenery today uh, for another video and uh, the ILS frequency hasn't ported across uh, once you've updated your init B page with your fuel prediction and you've put in your zero fuel weight and your block fuel values according to the sim brief import, check them for accuracy. Once you're happy, stick them in and uh, your fuel prediction page will then come alive as well. So it will show that at Hamburg your estimated fuel on board at landing would be 2.7 tonnes uh, and Finkverden is uh, only a few miles away so uh, it shouldn't be too much of an impact on fuel there for a diversion either. So there we go, uh, it's a really simple way of importing your flight plan from Simbrief now where uh, thanks to the a 2 x project. Uh, as a side note uh, within the initial review page uh, crew details is currently greyed out, uh, it will be input soon uh, so keep your eye out there and uh, that might come in particularly handy for things like your controls uh, where you might be able to input the details of the, the two crew members flying and things, but that's going to be something that I'd imagine that we'll look at uh, importing into the future. Uh, but it's a great add on to the A32NX. Um, as always, great progress is uh, constantly being made with these guys. Keep your eye out on the channel for um, loads of updates to come. Make sure you click that subscribe button as well. And 
check back regularly for some uh, live streams. Thank you all for watching and uh, see you again soon.